Believe it or not, it's just nine days until Christmas, and there is just one more shopping weekend. With all the wrapping, cooking, cleaning, and traveling, it's easy to get stressed out, but you don't want to burn out this time of year. Oh, and looking live in South Philly right now, it's easy to see how a simple thing like decorating can easily take up a lot of your time. But don't worry, some simple things can help save your holiday sanity. Personal growth coach Teresa Moore Griffin is joining us now. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, my pleasure. What is the first tip? You don't overcommit yourself? That's a really important one. You know, we get so excited about the holiday season and want to try and fit it all in. But the more we fit in, the more we squeeze ourselves out. So we have to watch over committing. So does that mean we can say no to some invitations and not feel bad? You know, that's important to do. And I think sometimes saying no is not only a relief for us, sometimes it's also a relief for the person who's extended the invitation. So absolutely, no, no thank you. Let's do it in January or February. Look at alternatives so that you don't stress yourself. All right, how do I keep my energy up? You know, one of the things that I love to do personally is listen to some great music, and there's nothing like singing along with some Christmas carols, if that's what you enjoy, or any of your favorite music. Dancing is another great opportunity and a way to keep your energy up, um, as is just going for a walk or taking some deep breaths. What about prioritizing? When everything gets so hectic, you got the list, you got the gifts, the decorating, the parties, you know, do I just get post-its everywhere? Or do, how do I prioritize my exactly. life? Exactly. So your <laughs> list makes me tired, right? It's so long. <laughs> but you're right. We have all of those things going on. And I think the most important thing to do is to think about what is significant for me and what will give me the greatest satisfaction to do and let your energy go to that. For me, my great joy is making a holiday uh, dinner for my entire family, the extended family and friends. That's turn what it, I put my energy into. So you turn it into something fun, you avoid all that stress. Absolutely. All right, well, what about this little tip? Exercise during the holidays. Don't put it off until the new year. We tend to slack off at the end of the year. We do. We tend to uh, eat too much, sometimes drink too much, <laughs> depending upon your proclivities. Uh, but yeah, exercising is a great way to do it. Even if you just take a 15-minute walk around the block mm -hmm. or do some simple stretching, anything to keep the body loose and limber is always a good thing. Just don't get stressed out. All right, Teresa Moore Griffin, we thank you so much for coming in tonight. You just made my holiday a little bit easier thank to get you. through. Happy holiday.